so today, rather tomorrow, because that's when you're going to see this, is my 26th birthday. It is the anniversary of a lot of car troubles in my family. My aunt's truck ran out of gas, my grandparents' truck wouldn't start, my aunt Dawn was six months pregnant and had to push the truck, they took the vehicle from my other grandmother and that one kept overheating, my mom got stuck in a snowbank, not to mention I decided to be born on the coldest day of the year because I was a day early. 26 years ago, I joined the bright world and it's been a journey. Turning 25 was super duper hard on me. I really just did not feel like I was where I wanted to be in my life and having turned a quarter of a century old, it was really disheartening. This year I decided not to focus on the bittersweet nature of aging in my 20s because there's no point in focusing on accomplishments that you haven't reached at a certain point. Instead, why not take a look at what I have achieved and where I really am and see where I want to go. Um, I've been promoted twice in a year from a um, hourly job to a salary job and once I get to Colorado I will actually be making about the same amount of money my dad was making when I was in high school. I managed to read 53 books and my goal this year was 50 so that to me is a big accomplishment. One of the big things that bothered me when I turned 25 was that I wasn't married, but now I'm engaged. So I guess there's no point in being worried about that one anymore. I've made a bunch of new friends this year, um, mostly at work. And for the first time ever, I made an attempt at NaNoWriMo. I didn't complete NaNoWriMo, but I tried, and I think that counts. And that's pretty good for one year, isn't it? I mean, there's a lot of other things that I did this year, too. Like, I moved, and I started working out and all this other stuff that I was not doing before and I feel great about all that. I think that that's important to focus on what you feel good about and not focusing on where you're not. Now in that same respect, let's look at where I'm going to be going going forward. Obviously number one is get married, but that's going to happen. Budding date is October 16th, so I'm that's like less than like 200, less than 300 days. Um, I want to continue to make a huge impression at my job and continue moving up until I hit a position where I feel good or I have the opportunity to find a new place to go that I feel is a good fit for me. I would like to hopefully within the next year to begin searching for a house, which would also mean I'd have to, you know, stop moving. I'm excited to make my first major trip out of the country. It's supposed to be honeymooning in the Philippines so we can see Ben's family. I'm super excited about this. And I want to continue making videos for YouTube of better quality, better interest, and on a regular basis. So that is going to be a really big push for me. That's what I want to do. Um, and I hope that you guys will stick around to watch. I have a couple clips from my birthday to show you guys. Um, from what Ben and I went to do and a few clips from a couple other days that I never really compiled into a video that I want to share so I'll go ahead and throw that at the end but just remember aging is nothing bad and I know that I'm not at the age to really be saying this but there's something weird about growing older in your 20s that you just don't think about when you're younger. I'm grown up and I can honestly say I like being grown up but at the same time Sometimes you want to focus back. There's no point in focusing back. You're great exactly where you are, and all you need to do is focus on how to get to where you want to be. You might not do it in the time frame that you want, but it will happen if you set your mind to it. Remember that each year just brings a little bit more beauty, and each year just makes you a little bit wiser, so there's nothing wrong with growing older. Today is my birthday. And Ben took me to Dave and Buster's to play games and eat. Mm. Mm, what are you gonna down it? I can't. Are you serious? If I <laughs> chug that, I'd probably be like, ooh. Mm -hmm. Since it's my birthday, can I have the first taste? Mm -hmm. Song. Good. Woo. Strong. Yeah. Sweet. This salad is good too. I know, I told you it would be good, and you doubted me.
of life. Ben and I are right now on a hunt looking for the game of life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we decided we wanted to play. It's like my favorite game from when I was little. I used to play with Grammy all the time. So we went to Barnes and Noble and it was like $40. Ridiculous. So we're gonna go see if we can find it at Walmart for cheaper because we're cheap, right? We're cheapos. We're cheapos. We like a good deal. You're liking that eggnog chai latte? Eggnog. Let me try it. Yeah, oh geez, it's almost gone. Oh. Yeah, don't spill it like you spilled mine on my lap. Ugh. Woo! No thank you. You can have that. Too oh. strong for you, lady? Yeah, I'm not a, I don't know. I just, I guess I'm not an eggnog person. Okay, let's move. Feels like I'm on a carriage. <laughs> let's just imagine. <laughs> With the cars coming at us? <laughs> <laughs> Zoom it in. Oh, it makes it blurry. I don't like zooming. 